Hello everyone, uh, my name is Fernanda and I'm back here for the new consultant training. Uh, remember we talked a little bit about last week and this week we're going to talk about the Mary Kay way, how uh, you work this business successfully. So I have a few points that I want to make sure that you understand and I want to make sure that you learn uh, on the beginning of your business so that way you are aware what to do when those things comes up to you. So the first thing is uh, we never steal clients away from another Mary Kay consultant. When you're booking a new client for an appointment, always remember to ask, have you used Mary Kay before? So that way when we ask that, we make sure that she doesn't have a current consultant serving her. If she says yes, that she does have a Mary Kay consultant, you can say, oh, this is wonderful, this is great. Um, you can still work with her uh, consultant, uh, just refer her back to her consultant so that way you're not stealing business from each other. Uh, because she already has a consultant, so unfortunately uh, you cannot sell uh, products for her. Just send her back to her consultant and uh, with the golden rule we wait that the consultant when this happened, some uh, encounter your customer she will send it back to you as well so it's very important to keep the golden rule um, on your business as well because this is the way that has been working for more than 50 years and you don't want this to happen to you and to your customers as well so make sure before you post something on social media or uh, when you are booking a class on event uh, like bridal show, woman show, whatever you're doing to promote your business, always ask if the person has a consultant. If sometimes you encounter some of the customers that says, yeah, I used to have a consultant long time ago, but she disappeared or I haven't heard from her from a year or six months or more, uh, then uh, you can explain. So if it's been that long, so I can I can actually uh, take you as my customer. I would love to serve you. Uh, so just make sure you know if, if she has a consultant that is taking care of her. And the important thing uh, why I wanna talk about that, it's because um, we want to respect each other and respect the business as well. But also the consultant that is taking care of the customer, she's usually sending birthday cards uh, through the mail or PCP, which it is catalogs uh, every three months when we get new catalogs, we have the options of sending catalogs to our customers on the mail. So she is expending money on this particular customer and we don't want her to be wasting her time and money on somebody that is not buying from her right so make sure when you are offering promotions online to do on a, a closed group for your customers only so that way it does not affect anybody's business it does not affect your sister director or your sister consultant's business that way we have boundaries between us and we have a good uh, relationship okay so make sure not stealing customer from another mary Kay consultant we work uh, the sisterhood rule for a long time and it works just fine the second thing I want to talk to you about today is always dress like a lady and wear a dress or a skirt for appointments. Uh, Mary Kay, when she designed the company, uh, she used to live on an environment that only men uh, could be um, manager or get a better position because they're men. So at her time, the woman used to dress as a man so she could be competitive just like the men were. Uh, so when she designed Mary Kay Cosmetics, she wants to make sure that we are successful. We look the greatest as possible with our image because we work with image and we don't have to look like a man. So we can be very feminine wearing a skirt or a dress and still be successful, still making a good money with what we do. So 
to look more professional every time that you do uh, you go into a Mary Kay event when you go into a training on a Monday or Tuesday when you're meeting uh, with your customers or you're doing deliveries or you're going for a guest event make sure you look at your best always wearing a dress or skirt and the reason uh, why it's behind that I already explained it to you okay so if you're wondering why the directors always wear dress or skirt, so you know that we want to look our best, very professional, but we don't want to look like a man. So we want to look very feminine and have a professional image as well. So the third thing that I want to talk to you about today is consultants that show up, go up. I don't know if you ever heard of this, but a training is offered several times a month by us directors, which we call the successful meetings or unit meetings. So Mary Kay always said that consultants who show up, go up. So what it means is become successful. Consultants that participated on the training that the company offers to you is where you will learn everything that you need to know to become a successful consultant those training events are intend to give you tools that you will need to achieve to do your achievements and to become uh, a successful and to get recognized and for for your hard work as well so sometimes uh we think about Oh, I'm not going to the meeting this week because I work a lot and I sold such a good amount this week and I don't need it to go to training. I can take a break, right? But the important thing that you have to remember, we are a sisterhood um, thing. So if you had a great week and you have a successful business running, uh, it's important that you come to the meeting so you can share with the other consultants your own experience. You can share what you did this week uh, that it brought you success, then she can learn as well with you. So it's, it's like a leadership role, you know what I mean? So we are, we want to grow with each other's experience. So we would love for you to come when you have a great week so you can share and teach us uh, what you have done that uh, it was successful for you so the other ones can try as well. And if you had a bad week, uh, if you had a lot of cancellations because it happened to all of us and you had parties and you didn't sell anything or facials with no success or if you try to recruit someone and she said no and you're very discouraged and disappointed that's why you need to come to the meeting because at the meeting will be someone who's going to cheer you on and is going to give you new ideas uh, and encourage you as well to keep on going and you're gonna heard from successful consultants that was going through just the same thing that you did or a director who's who been through your footsteps she will encourage you and give you some new ideas that you can keep on going and try something new and keep you motivated as well Mary Kay used to be very funny and she used to say that if a consultant miss one meeting is because she is sick two meetings she's probably dying and three meetings she's already dead she was a very funny and had a good sense of humor so you can have an idea uh, how the meeting could impact a consultant's uh, business and life as well okay so the fourth thing that I want to talk to you about today is for you to wear your Mary Kay face now that you're selling skincare and cosmetics, you want to make sure that you have the perfect makeup look that you that you feel comfortable to wear. You know, sometimes uh, you come to the business if you have never wear makeup like myself before. Before Mary Kay, I never wore any makeup. Like lipstick was like way too much for me. I used to uh, never knew how to apply foundation or choose the right color foundation or even eyeshadow was way too complicated so before this business i was very scared to use makeup but going to the training once again bring it up uh, the training information going to the training i learned how to apply makeup and i learned how to look not uh, too much but i have three colors 
even today I have a few colors that I use over and over again that are, it's easy for me and it's kind of on my safe zone that I know that I will look good and not too much so if you are like me and you have never used any makeup but you wanted to look your best uh, to show that uh, you're learning something you can ask me a few suggestions and I can give it to you um, or at the training we can try some colors on you and see how you will get the perfect look that you will say okay every time I'm gonna go out and do my trainings and go for my facials or parties I'm gonna use this kind of makeup and uh, I know that I'm gonna wear comfortably and I'm gonna feel good about it okay or you can ask some of our, your friend consultants we have so many talented consultants that know how to apply makeup and as you go on you will learn more so it's important that you have you customize your own look uh, so because you are again on the business industry on the cosmetic and skincare um, industry and makeup involved people will watch you people will look at you how do you um, walk and how you talk and how you present yourself so if you're posting on social media about skincare and makeup and how much you love this business but you're not wearing any Mary Kay on your face or on your body uh, you could be a in an awkward situation that sometimes you're going to a party or something and some some people compliment your lipstick for example and say oh I sell Mary Kay but this is not a Mary Kay lipstick so it could be like well she wants me to buy her product she wants me to try her stuff but she is not the one using it what she is selling so it's kind of uh, it could be a difficult situation so we want to avoid that and it's important that you know the quality of the product that uh, you're presenting so the only way that you're gonna be you're gonna build your confidence on what you're doing is if you try and using on yourself so it's very important that you know your product that every month try to go on in touch and go on product knowledge and try to find out something new about a product that you want to try and uh, experience on yourself because the person that is in front of you of course on the beginning we start with your friends and people that uh, lives around you so they believe in what you say so they have confidence in you and they are going to try and buy whatever you say that you like and how do you feel how does your skin feels and and your honest opinion on a product is what is gonna make a difference and is what is going to sell people want to know your opinion about the product okay doesn't matter uh, if uh, the actress so and so is using they know you so they want to know uh, what you do and and how you apply and how did you like it and what is the effect on your own skin so it's very important that you as a consultant use a hundred percent everything Mary Kay I understand sometimes when you join the the company we're kind of afraid or we have some stuff some products that you used to use in the past but slowly you have to keep changing to everything Mary Kay so that way you have more confidence in what you're selling and when people ask you you know from like without blinking what product you're using what is the color of your lipstick and so on okay so number five that i wanted to give it to you today is passing it on share the dream with everyone you meet don't be a secret consultant please don't do that uh, mary Kay opportunity is not like every other opportunity out there it's very unique our sense of community our support system it's it's and the love that we share between each other uh, is very important and the ad advancement uh, program also as well so the products that we launch uh, the quality of the products are amazing uh, it's incredible the company has been on for more than 50 years so you don't have to sell the brand people already know or they heard about it or there's someone they try a long time ago so it makes a lot of difference uh, when you presenting the company to somebody else and the opportunity as well so if you are happy about it and if when when you're a new consultant you're usually very excited and um, 
you have a positive attitude about it and you wanted to share, it's very important that we don't judge. We just share because our enthusiasm is what is going to make the difference. Uh, the way that you share uh, to other people is how you're going to attract people to your team. The way that you share the opportunity. And also don't judge because we don't know what is a people's life at home. We don't know if she needs this business uh, to change her life or she needs a discount or if she needs extra money. So if you're not sharing, you're keeping as a secret, uh, they will never know what it, this business is all about. So passing it on, share the excitement, invite them for your, for your meetings and uh, just have fun while you're doing it okay don't be a secret agent so i'll see you guys next week bye bye take care